Australia and New Zealand. His parents were from Taiwan. Jeffrey will go to Faith Academy in the Philippines for secondary education. Ben Farrington from Australia and the UK. His parents work in central Thailand. Ben will go to Faith Academy in the Philippines for secondary education. Jordan Beachy from Canada. His parents work in central Thailand. Jordan will continue his education at Cambridge Christian School in Canada. Joy Forster from Australia. Her parents have been working in Sarawak. Joy is not yet certain where she will continue her education. David Glasgow from the United Kingdom. His parents work in Singapore. David will go to Faith Academy in the Philippines for secondary education. Shona Hinton from Australia and New Zealand. My parents work in Singapore. Shona will go to Faith Academy in the Philippines for secondary education. Simon Kong from New Zealand and Fiji. His parents work in South Thailand. Simon will continue his education at Middleton Grange School in New Zealand. David Michelle from New Zealand. His parents work in Singapore. David will go to Faith Academy in the Philippines for secondary education. Andrew Spinks from Australia. His parents work in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Andrew will go to Faith Academy in the Philippines for secondary education. Esther Wilson from the United States and UK. Her parents work in North Thailand. Esther will continue her education at Faith Academy. <laughs>
Chief Boo's individualist. Julia's protective big brother is nicknamed Gentle. Grin of pleasure lights up Ben's face. <laughs> He's an original thinker who cultivates a mature interest in current affairs and asks his teacher impossible questions. <laughs> A tool set and materials are essentials to life for Ben, who likes to design and make things. For relaxation, it's good to get as far from the classroom as possible. And what better place than Dormsey Garden? If there's anything you want to know about sea life or fishing, just ask Ben. He's like a walking marine encyclopedia, and he thinks he'd like to be a marine biologist someday. One word of warning. Never try to find anything in Ben's drawers or cupboard. <laughs> Presented. His sensitive artwork is much admired. Jordan's contributions to the recorder group and choir have been greatly appreciated. With a solemn, deadpan expression, Jordan comes out with comments that leave you rolling with laughter. He himself chuckles as he enjoys the, hu the humour of something he's reading at rest hour. Jordan's interest in gardening lies almost exclusively in how many dirt balls he can wing at other unsuspecting <laughs> Logical thinking, capacity for retaining facts, and quiet analysis of a situation may lead him to be a lawyer someday. Jordan. <laughs> Level 6 is beauty queen of 1987. She is poised and fun-loving. Joy aspires to excellence in all she does. Her classroom work is quality plus and beautifully presented. She plays her recorder with great sensitivity. Independence is important to George. With a broken arm, there were few things she couldn't do for herself. She even won table tennis left-handed. <laughs> a bookworm, Joy can always recommend a good story. She also enjoys outdoor activities, but keeps her aerobics for the privacy of the dorm. Thoughtful and decisive, Joy is a girl with an eye for business. She once suggested that her tooth, plus a filling, might be worth $20 instead of <laughs> a sensitive and caring friend, David has a zest for living and a spontaneous enthusiasm which is infectious. With wide eyes, he asks, Did you see that? It's neat. David put his acting ability to good use in the cantata at East. In the classroom, David works hard, but the bell for freedom at 3.30 brings a great feeling. And if you're lucky, your teacher won't remind you about homework. <laughs> David was made for the outdoors. He can do often be seen doing impossible looking things on roller skates and leaping off walls in a way that makes adults hold their breath in horror. <laughs> His sports ability is quite amazing, and there are boys in levels one and two to whom David is a real hero. <laughs>
schemes can seem like such drudgery when there are new ideas to be dreamed or exciting books to be read. Simon's design for a house using only solar and wind power is quite impressive. <laughs> he keeps his own library between his bed and the cupboard, and sometimes the urge to read becomes irresistible. Out of bed, Simon gets, and with his pillow providing a comfortable seat, he sits in the bathroom reading, <laughs> only until he gets caught. <laughs> Simon loves the outdoors. He disappears alarmingly over the bank on his chopper and leaps with well-sprung feet into the long jump pit. Simon sings a beautiful soprano in the, in the choir. He has also discovered that he can succeed in schoolwork, and his alert mind adds colour to discussion. Simon knows how to put people at their ease, and his smile is warm enough to melt ice. <laughs> Independent spirit would love her own horse on which to gallop away to freedom. Yes. <laughs> 